Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today is all about this 4G LT router from TP-Link, the model TLMR6400 and I will show you how you can manage all the settings and the options from the browser, how you can set up this router. Now you need to type at your browser tplinkmodem.net and there it is everything, all the options and the settings. I have wireless clients, three are my three cameras. I can rename these cameras if I want. Let's say EU feed the first. And I have one wired client. It is my desktop. You can check the messages, internet, and you can see here the one interface name, the internet status, IP address, DNS server, 3G, 4G, SIM card, 50% it is the signal strength, your provider, the network type, data upload speed and down speed. It is in low right now, I don't have a very good signal at my home. We can go at the router and again here we can see 2.4 GHz wireless, status, SSID, the channel, the MAC address, 2.4 GHz guest network, disable it and the SSID. Internet. And here we have the mobile data, you can turn it off or turn it on. You can choose a network mode, uh, 4G preferred, 4G only, 3G only, 4G only. Dial up settings, profile name, okay, the PDP type, APN, username, password, authentication type, and save. Uh, this settings is installed automatically at your SIM card from your provider and save. Wireless. Wireless settings 2.4 GHz, enable, disable if you want, the SSID network name and the password, all that you can change, whatever you want. Change your Wi-Fi name and your password and you can hide your SSID and save. Guest network. Allow guests to access each other, allow guests to access my local network, you can do that, enable guest network, you can change uh, your Wi-Fi name of your guest network, hide the SSID, set the password, everything that, and save. Parental controls, and here you can switch it off, switch it on, a block list, add uh, a new website, whitelist and save at the moment off and you can see here you can refresh add and delete everything tp link cloud you can add uh, your email your username and your password and it will be synchronized with the tether app i have made a video how you can set up this router from the tp link tether app you can check this video down below in the description or right in the corner after the end of this video. Okay, we can go quick setup and here you can choose time zone, next. You can choose the profile names, of course, two or one, the PDP type, APN, uh, username, password. As I said, this has installed it automatically from your uh, provider. In my case, it's Vodafone. Next, you can change the wireless network and name and password. You can enable if you want your Wi-Fi. Next, testing the internet connection. Okay, success, next. And here it is everything that you need to know. Next. Congratulations, network set up successfully. Enjoy the internet, <laughs> thank you. This is the process when you want to add for the first time your router. Just plug it in at the power and connect your desktop with an Ethernet cable at any LAN of your router. Basic again. And you can choose other languages here. Log out, reboot, advanced. And there we have some information for the 3G, 4G, the internet and the wireless. And the LAN port who is connected and the guest network. Operation mode. 
And here you can choose if you want to work uh, your router as a 3G4 router mode or as a wireless router mode. For now it is on 3G, 4G router. I will change that later and I would like to test it like a wireless router, see how it works. Network, Internet, and here you can change some of the settings, mobile data, data roaming, NAT. You can choose again network mode, the band, auto or manual, network search, auto or manual, and save. ISP upgrade, current ISP version, you can browse and upgrade. If you fail to dial up internet access after upgrading to the latest version, please contact us. Okay. Pin management. You can enter a pin. Data settings. Total usage, correct. Data limit. You can choose gigabyte 2. Send test message. Usage alert at 90%. SMS alert for usage. You can enter the phone number and you will get alert. Modify data statics, okay, and save. No data limit for now, save. LAN settings, and here you can see everything about uh, the DHCP server, MAC address, IP address, all that. And of course, we've got the total clients for connected. You can see I have renamed the UFI, and it is on, the name is here with a MAC address, IP, the time, everything. Dynamic DNS, service provider TP-Link, dynamic DNS, no IP. You can choose one of these three. To use our superior TP-Link DNS service, please log in on your account to do that. Okay, let me log in on the basics again. TP-Link Cloud, and let's enter my email and my password. and login and there is all the information i am the admin being managed by this email okay let's go again at the advanced network dynamic dns and now i can choose because i have entered my tipling account perfect static routing and we can see the network destination, the subnet mask, getaway, interface, IPv6 tunnel. You can enable that. USSD. SMS. Inbox. Refresh. I don't have any SMS at my inbox. New messages. You can add the number and add the content and send. Nice, I can send SMS because I have a SIM card installed on my router. Outbox, drafts, there's one draft, SMS settings, message sender and save. You can uh, change the message sender. Wireless, wireless settings, and again here you can uh, change uh, the Wi-Fi name, the password, you can uh, choose the security, no security, whatever you want. Version, auto, encryption, password, the mode, the channel from 1 to 13 or auto, the channel width from auto 20 or 40 megahertz, and transmit power low, middle and high and save. WPS, start WPS. It has a button at the router, you can press and the button. Wireless uh, schedule. You can uh, add a schedule. Select from hours to hours and minutes every day or you can select the days of the week. Okay, cancel. Statistics. And here we can see the MAC address, the three cameras our lady installed it and we can see connected on a 2.4 year hertz, the security, receive it packets and send packets and refresh. Advanced settings, beacon interval, 100, RTS threshold, DTIM interval, group key upgrade period. You can enable this, enable the 
AP isolation and save. And you can enable and the WPS button save. Guest network. Allow guests to access uh, each other. Allow guests to access my local network. You can do that and save. It is on 2.4 GHz wireless. Enable guest network. And again, you can rename uh, the Wi Fi network. You can enter the password. Choose uh, the version auto, encryption auto, TKIP or IS. And save. Not forwarding. ALG. Enable all that or disable. Virtual servers. You can add if you want. Cancel. Port triggering. You can add in that. Enable this entry. DMZ. You can enable, save, UPNP, disable, enable, parental controls, and again you can uh, turn it on, turn it off, content restriction, I have already show you that guys, QOS, settings, and you can enable, Upload bandwidth and upload bandwidth kilobytes per second, megabytes per second. And save. You can add the rules high priority 60%, middle priority 30%, and low priority 10%. And you can add by device, by application. So many things to choose. Database, new database file. You can browse and upgrade. Security, firewall DOS protection. You can enable if you want, disable, the same here, select low to high, refresh, same here and save. Service filtering, you can enable, disable, add, Single IP address, IP address range, all IP addresses. Cancel, access control. Then we have uh, the access control on, access mode blacklist or whitelist, save. You can add. And we can see we've got the online devices, four it is. As I said, my uh, three cameras and my desktop. IP and MAC uh, binding. You can enable that. Disable. Add, refresh, bind, and we can see the MAC address and the IP address, bound and modify, you can delete. IPv6 firewall, you can enable, you can add, scan, okay, perfect. VPN. Open VPN, enable, you can choose, save, generate, export, internet and home network, PPTP VPN, other settings, IPsec VPN, deep peer detection, you can add all that, all these values. Enable, disable, cancel, we don't need that, and VPN connections, perfect, we don't have at this time, system tools, time settings, you can choose, synchronize, the day, the time, everything is here, get from PC, get from internet and save, enable daylight saving time and save, LED control, and you can switch off the LEDs at the front of the router. Or enable night mode and do a schedule. LED of time from 2. Diagnostics. You can start. 
perfect. Firmware upgrade. We are OK. Perfect. Backup and restore. You can do a backup, restore from a file, factory default restore. You can reboot, enable reboot time every day, every week. Choose the days of the week, every month, 1st, 2nd, 28th. It is your choice. Administration. You can choose here some values, enable, save, remote management, the same. System log. OK, we've got so many system logs. All. You can choose. Debug. Refresh. Uh, log settings and save log. CWMP settings. You can enable. Inform. Disable. You can change the inform interval. Admin. ACS password, anyone, LAN, LTE, connection request authentications, it is enabled, get RPC methods, you can change all these values if you want. CNMP settings, enable, disable, public, private, and save, and agent for one. So many settings. Traffic monitor, and you can see for all the devices, minutely, hourly, daily. Refresh, reset, and you can see everything. At this moment, I have just enabled it. That's why we don't have something. Disable. And basic. And advance it again. Now, I would like to change the operation mode from a 3G, 4G router to wireless router and save. The chain will not take effect until the router reboots. Are you sure to continue? Yes. Just to make some tests, guys, and see the Wi-Fi speed, I will connect uh, my modem from my internet provider to the one LAN port. Enter the password and login. And now I have connected from my internet provider, from my modem to this TP-Link router. And here again we have the settings, uh, more or less are the same. Wireless clients. And again here we can see my devices are connected. Wired clients the router quick setup and again you can do the setup as i show you for connecting to other method advanced and we have the internet the wireless the guest network and the lan operation mode and we can see i am in a wireless router mode not on 3g 4g router network internet 3G, 4G backup, it is on, you can switch it off. When it's on and you have a problem with your internet provider, then it will go automatically to the 3G, 4G. 3G, 4G, and here we have again some settings. More or less, we have uh, the same settings like the 3G, 4G connection. No firmware update again. Now I would like to test my internet speed from my provider through this TP-Link router from my smartphone and from my laptop. I will show you of course uh, what is my real internet speed connected with the Ethernet cable and let's move on. I am starting the test from my desktop connected with Ethernet cable at the LAN port of the 4G TP-Link router. And the speed is 95 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. 
My internet speed from my provider is 100 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload, just to make a comparison. Moving on with the next test from my laptop 3 meters and 12 meters away from the router on a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. I'm running the test twice, we can see at 3 meters away is a 90 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. At 12 meters away the speed is dropping and it goes at 30 to 37 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. Next test from my smartphone and again 3 meters and 12 meters away from the router. I'm running the test twice again. We can see at 3 meters away it is 81 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. At 12 meters away it is 40 to 44 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. It goes only at 10 megabytes per second upload because that is my real speed for upload. And now I'm running a test from my smartphone, again 3 meters and 12 meters away from the router, transferring a file to my server. 3 meters away it goes at 7 megabytes per second and on 12 meters at 3 megabytes per second. 2.4 year has Wi-Fi, it has the limits if that is for the internet or transferring file between your computer or to your server. And the same test again from my laptop, 3 meters away it goes at 10 megabytes per second and on 12 meters at 5 megabytes per second. Well guys that was all about this TP-Link 4G LTE router. You have seen on my video how you can set up your router from the browser, from your desktop or laptop. Definitely it has many options and settings to adjust at your needs. It is your choice if you want to use the TP-Link Tether app, I have made a video, you can check it down below to the description or after the end of this video, but I think from the browser it has more options and it is faster to adjust and make the setup, it is your choice. And in the end we have seen the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi speed, I think it is very decent speed for the things that it can do. In my case I have just purchased this uh, TP-Link router just to connect some smart devices because uh, in my other place I don't have an uh, internet uh, connection. I will just install my SIM card and control some of the smart cameras around. Well guys, that was all about. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and done. Share this video. You never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.